The other day over at photographylife.com, Nassim had posted this uh, really great article about efficient Lightroom workflows for high resolution images. And it's in response to the uh, Nikon D800, uh, as well as other new digital SLRs now that have uh, pretty gigantic RAW files, and how to uh, do an efficient workflow process for, for importing these images and then working with them. Uh, talking a little bit about the import process with Aperture today, uh, this is a really tremendous little workflow that I found quite helpful, uh, especially when using larger, larger files or RAW files in general. It just requires that you set up your camera to shoot both JPEG and RAW files. And I set my camera up to shoot uh, small, fine JPEGs as well as RAW. And all I do that for is to help me in my import process. Importing all a car giant 32 gig card full of RAW files is time consuming and, and unruly. And so what this workflow does is it kind of pairs this all down and saves a whole bunch of time right off the bat. So basically what you do in your import window in, in Aperture after you've created your library or uh, made a new one, whatever you want to do, you go into your, your import dialog and uh, you pick JPEG files only. And so this will filter this down to your small JPEGs. And what we do is you just click import these files. So this imports all your files, all your small JPEG files. And this is fast because these things are small size files, right? They're tiny and they, uh, they go really quite quickly to import. And what this allows you to do is to look and see what images are sharp, what are gooders and keepers and everything else in between. So what you do is you go through and you make your selections. And you can either flag these or use a color or a star system. I like the star system. So if I like an image, I'm going to give it one star. And we'll keep these ones. And so we'll click this one. And then once we've gone through our whole image library of a lot of small JPEGs, made our selections, we just create a little filter to see these ones. Okay, so we used star, so we're going to click just one star to filter them out. And so now here we've got our, our images that we want to keep. Then what we do is we go back to our import dialog. Okay, so this goes back in there and we click on our project, whatever that may be. And we go back over to our import dialog. And instead of JPEG files only, now we have the matching raw files option. And so we click that and what that does is gives us these options here for uh, all matching raw files, unrated or better, or the current filter. And so our first one star setting is our current filter. So we click on that and that filters out just these images that we want. So we're only importing our raw files for these images which is saving us a ton of time. So what we do is you click import checked. And then what this does is this imports the raw files into our library, just the ones that we want. And it imports them into Aperture now here. We can see this little badge down here. There's a little J. And this lets us know that there's a, this is our J, JPEG and raw pair now. And so what we do is once we've got our selections made, and maybe we you know, go down through these things and we make our two selections first, and uh, we have these files selected, we go through and say, okay, yeah, we're going to edit our twos, but we want to edit in raw because that's why we shot these things in the first place. So now we can just select all the files, right click, and use raw as original. So you click that and Aperture will go through and convert all these files over into raw uh, to use the raw as original or the one that we want to edit instead of the JPEG file. So now we've got uh, in our adjustments panel we have all the the raw fine tuning and uh, adjustments that we can have on these raw files, which is tremendous. So this little workflow for importing images into Aperture saves a ton of time and computer grunt power because you're only importing those raw files that you want to keep right off the bat. So I hope you found this little tutorial helpful.